Hi guys, I have another handbag here to show you and this time it's Cartier. I actually bought this from a luxury consignment shop in Boca, Boca Raton, <laughs> Florida, um, I think three weeks ago, but I'm not sure why I did not um, uh, feature this. And I was very impressed with the condition of uh, this bag. Uh, that's why I kept it. I'm, I've used it uh, twice and I just um, love it. As you can see, Cartier handbags are very, very classic handbags. Um, the style is classic. And what I love about Cartier handbags is that the, the, the hardware or metal fittings of the bag, they just look so polished and shiny regardless of... Um, you know the the age of the bag probably because of course Cartier is known for its um, more popularly known as uh, jewelry maker for kings so they're very associated with um, with jewelry so everything is just polished I haven't come across a single um, vintage Cartier bag that has has um, um, that has poor poor quality metal thing it's just really really a gorgeous and polished although the bag itself would be tattered and peeling off the hardware will still um stand untarnished <laughs> and uh really good and nice anyway so this is a cross body bag and it's in um bordeaux i would say brown between red and um dark brown <laughs> so it's like that and of course it has that famous famous um cartier cartier um, insignia here so i've owned a lot of cartier from bucket bag to um backpack to happy birthday bag and um i have consigned uh, most of them uh this time i just couldn't uh, I just couldn't let go of this handbag and this handbag had is already spoken for because <laughs> um, I used this once and I posted some pictures of me using this on Facebook and my cousin said she wants it and she wants it to buy she wants to buy it off from me <laughs> so there you go so um, I'm reserving it for her okay in the meantime of course I have to use it okay so it's like a messenger bag but it's not in the saddle type. This is a very, very structured handbag, guys. And um, look at that. It's like when I saw it, it's like there isn't any scratch. It's like super new, guys, when I bought it. And, uh, and this, guys, it's super new. It's like it has never been used at all. It's like the car it says Cartier Paris. It's very rare that you come across handbags that are in really, really mean condition, especially if it's vintage. So it's like it was just um, stored or preserved in. <laughs> okay, and this is the back of the bag. This is a very sturdy bag, although it's thin. I would say it's thin. Um, it can still accommodate a lot of your things except for my water bottle i al always carry an eight ounce water bottle with me it would be bulging guys <laughs> if, if you do that so i guess you're better off carrying it <laughs> okay so look at that it's beautiful beautiful and look it's just so newish guys okay i don't see any um any i don't see any it, that's i think that would be my only criticism on this handbag it's uh very nice that you know it has a secret uh, pocket um in the back entire pocket and so you can just i, I just carry my 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 card with me in the back i put my card in the back there is no zippered interior or whatsoever so it has a magnetic flap and i don't see any serial number maybe it's somewhere because normally it would be placed somewhere here i don't see anything but this is a um 
this is a um, an authentic one okay so there you go um the look at that it's so shiny and of course the adjustments and the bottom of the bag it's like an accordion type I, I, this looks like an envelope bag to me, accordion. <laughs> there. That's very nice. Okay. I was surprised though at the amount of uh, stuff it could hold. <laughs> Except for, I was a little bit disappointed because um, my, my water bottle won't fit in there because I have an 8 ounce water bottle. And that's like a standard for me when looking for a for a handbag it has to fit my water bottle but anyway in that case you just have to carry your water bottle you know in front my sanitizer can fit in there my tissue paper and you know just very thin stuff but um this is a gorgeous um it's, it's a very rare model i would say I, you don't see a lot of cartier handbags or that that looks like this <laughs> that look like this okay so there you go cartier handbags they are some of them are expensive um i've seen some like priced at 700 dollars for a vintage piece and uh, um i've been comparing prices online but um i don't get to see this kind of style and um it's just the condition guys it's just so beautiful it's just beautiful it's just thin. It's a very, I would say, narrow handbag. So it's um, it's not your typical, you know, uh, throw in your stuff <laughs> bag. <laughs> so, but this is very nice um, if you want to be hands-free. Okay, there you go. Bye.